Hello friends, Pat Boone here. Over the years, I've been very fortunate to be able to travel all over the world. I, I've been to beautiful places. I've seen lots of amazing things. But when I was at home recently, an old friend called and said he wanted to show me a very interesting product that he thought I'd really like. Well, I told him to come on over. First, let me tell you, I, I get approached with products all the time. So I'm always skeptical, as many of the products are just not what they're cracked up to be. I've been very conservative over the years. Yep, that's right, conservative. But when I do find something I like, something I think can help millions of others, I speak up and help spread the word. And that's exactly what happened here. Now, I'm in pretty good shape. I work out daily. I, I watch what I eat. For years, I've been buying bottled water like so many. I carry it with me in the car, to the gym, to the office. So when he told me that the bottled water I was buying was actually very acidic and not as good for me as I thought. I was curious. I wanted to learn more. He told me about a machine from Japan that he had at his house and how it could change my tap water into really healthy, great tasting water filled with powerful antioxidants and that a lot of people were feeling a lot better just by drinking different water. He said the machine actually changes the molecular structure of the water. Well. Now, I was starting to think he was full of it. I mean, water is just water, right? Well, it turns out that all water is not the same. We're finding that out more and more. This technology is used at hospitals, restaurants, and homes throughout Japan. In fact, this machine is classified a medical device in Japan, and it's manufactured in a certified factory. Now, I've traveled to Japan many times over the years, and I've always been very impressed with their culture, their family values, their ingenuity, and their health. Japan ranks right up there as one of the healthiest populations in the world, and they tend to live longer than we do. Here in the U.S., the adult population, and even more concerning to me, our children, are facing record amounts of obesity and related problems. The human body is made up of about 70% water. And doctors agree most of us just don't drink enough water. For a lot of people, the daily diet consists of fast food, processed food, and soft drinks. About the only time they drink water is to swallow their medication. So what's different in Japan? Well, many experts think diet and water play an important role. When I heard that this machine was from Japan. The company was over 30 years old, and the founder was an incredibly healthy, energetic visionary in his 60s. Well, of course, I wanted to learn more. They shared stories about people with gout, people with diabetes, people suffering with acid reflux, and people who were losing weight by just drinking the water. Then I started thinking there are different grades of gas, different qualities of wine. So it was starting to make sense. There could be different qualities of water as well, right? The bottled water industry has invested billions of dollars trying to convince us that their water is better than tap. The filter companies tell us that their filters can improve the taste of your tap water. The environmentalists tell us that the plastic water bottles are clogging our landfills. And other studies warn us that the plastic used in some of those bottles may be linked to cancer. It's, it's confusing. So what do you do? Well, you try to keep an open mind, like me. I, my friend stepped up, and he put his money where my mouth was. He, he wanted me to try the water. and he, he said, just try the water. See for myself. What did I have to lose? It wasn't pills or potions or sugary drinks. It was just water. What if it could provide some relief and better health to lots of people just by changing the water they were drinking? Was that possible? Well, Stan also gave me this book to read. It was written by Dr. Hiromi Shinya, the world-renowned gastroenterologist. In case you don't know, a gastroenterologist is a doctor who specializes in the digestive system. Dr. Shinya has impeccable credentials. Each year, he spends six months in Japan and then six months in New York. For 45 years, he's treated kings, queens, presidents, celebrities, and thousands of other patients. He's chief of the surgical unit at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City. And he's a clinical professor of surgery at Albert Einstein College of Medicine. He helped invent the colonoscopy, and he developed the technique for removing polyps during 
a colonoscopy without the need for abdominal surgery. It's actually called the Shinya method. Dr. Shinya has examined the stomachs and intestines of over 300,000 patients. He urges each of his patients to drink this special Kangen water every day just like he does. And you can read all about it. I read this book cover to cover and I learned so much. I was incredibly impressed with Dr. Shinya and now I really wanted to try the water. So Stan hooked up a machine in my kitchen and we've been drinking Kangen water ever since. Some people have asked if the water is so special, why isn't it sold in stores? Well, there's a simple explanation. The special properties of the water only last about three days. After a couple of days, the oxidation reduction potential of the water has diminished. So to get the full benefit of this water, you really need to drink it fresh from the machine. Now there's somebody here today to show you an eye-opening demonstration about the water we drink and this remarkable machine from Japan. His name is Bob Gridelli. Hey, Bobby. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, thank you, Pat. Why don't you take over? Great, I will. So I want to welcome everybody, and I'm going to go into the demonstration here, and I'm going to show you the three unique properties of this water and why it's so very special. The first property I'm going to show you is uh, what's called the ORP, which stands for the Oxidation Reduction Potential. And we're going to show you that with a meter that shows whether a liquid has a positive ORP or a negative ORP. And if it has a positive ORP, that means it's bad for you, or it's oxidizing, or aging, or rusting. We all know what that is, right? And so if it has a negative ORP, that's what makes it a powerful antioxidant. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pour some of these liquids first. And we're going to start with the Sani. And these are, we just put together an array of liquids that most people drink, right? Did you drink any of this? Yeah. Dasani? How about Aquafina? Yeah. Yes. I think I used to drink all of these. And how about Smart Water? Oh, yeah. Yes? I'm a holistic doctor here. You're a holistic doctor. Okay. I'll show you what I call it in a little bit. How about the Arrowhead Sparkling Water? Oh, yeah. Yes? Anyone like that water? That's why I kind of like those, all the flavors. Actually, this was my favorite water. It's called the Live. In a second, you'll see what I call it. <laughs> How about sports drinks, Gatorades? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yes, everybody like those? I used to drink a lot of sports drinks because, you know, you see athletes drinking it, so it must be good for us. Mm -hmm. How about sodas? Do any of you drink sodas? Not not okay, and this is just tap water. Anybody drink tap water? And then this is Kangen water. Okay, so this is the pinpoint ORP meter. Now we're going to test the ORP of the Dasani. So notice Dasani is over 215 right now. Now we go to the Aquafina. How's the Aquafina? Two, over 220 and climbing. How about the smart water? Over 230 and climbing. How about Arrowhead? Over 315 and climbing, getting worse. Alive water. This was one of my favorite ones. 400, now I call it dead water. <laughs> How about Gatorade? Any of you drink Gatorade? Like 393 and climbing. So remember, the worse, the more positive it is, the worse it is. How about 7-Up? All sodas are pretty much the same, just we use a light colored. So you'll see 394 and climbing. How about the tap water? 325. Here's the star of the show, you guys. <laughs> Look like at negative what? Four over ne negative 400. Wow. Now with negative 426. So as you can see, when it has a negative, this is the only water that has a negative. And that's why they call it negative water in Japan. That's why they use it in hospitals over there, because all the positive ones are oxidizing, aging, rusting, bad, you know, internally on the body. But the negative water is neutralizing the free radicals. So that's why we want to drink this water and hydrate your body on a regular basis.
next property I'm going to show you the water is we're going to go over here and we're going to test these waters for uh, the pH of the water. So pH stands for potential hydrogen and we have a little chart here where I'm going to show you and we're going to put a few drops in these waters and we're going to show whether they are on the acidic side or the alkaline side. And we'll just put a couple of drops in each one of them. We have a nice little pretty colorful display today, right? And we'll kind of stir these up real quick so you can get a better look and then I'll show each one of them. Oh, let's clean that off. Oh, let's clean it off each time. Okay. So let's go start here with the Dasani water and we'll, we'll use this pH chart here and show. So the Dasani is what? On the acidic side, right? How about the Aquafina? Acidic. Also acidic. How about the smart water? A little better, but still acidic, right? How about the Arrowhead Sparkling? Oops. Very acidic. How about the Alive Water? That's why I call it dead water now. How about the Gatorade? Also very acidic. And how about the 7-Up? Bet you didn't know you were drinking so many acidic things, did you? No. How about tap water? Neutral. So right around neutral, right? So tap water is always going to be neutral to slightly alkaline because it's federally regulated by the government. So besides, you know, the chlorine, the fluorides, they put lye in the water, which is a pH of 14, very alkaline, to raise the pH of our city water, the tap water, because if it were acidic, it would rust the pipes. So I don't think they're concerned about our pipes. They're concerned about the city pipes. So that's why it's always going to be in that range. So let's move on to the Kangen water. Now here's the star of the show. What is the Kangen water? Wow. Very alkaline, right? So with a touch of a button, we can change the alkalinity. And this one is 9.5 pH. So we all know that we should be slightly alkaline, right? Our body, because we're over 75% water. Unfortunately, look what we're drinking today and the foods we're eating in the air we're breathing. And so we do drink this water on a regular basis. Just think about your bodily fluids, right? Now watch what happens. What did we just do? Just with a little of the water, we neutralize that and raise the pH of the water. We'll go to the Aquafina. Notice. What, well, how about the smart water? Oh, wow. Notice I'm just putting in a little bit, right? So imagine when you're drinking this on a regular basis, what happened to the arrowhead water? Oh, it was struggling and then it went right back to acidity. Mm -hmm. That's because it's very acidic. Notice the alive water? No change. How about the Gatorade? Also no change. How about the 7-Up? So, now we'll go over to the tap water. Notice it changed pretty easily, right? So now when you're drinking this water on a regular basis, that's what it's going to help your body to do to balance your pH. Now, I'm going to take the seven up here. Now it's already diluted, right? Watch what happens. Now think about you're drinking this on a regular basis. Watch what happens when we just add a little bit of that. Notice it takes it right back to an acidic state just with a few drops. If you're drinking these things, ladies, and th these are all pretty much in the same range, watch the Kangen water. Wow. We just destroyed the Kangen water with a little bit of diluted soda. If you're drinking sodas, this is right around the pH of about 2.5, which makes it about 50,000 times more acidic if you were starting over here at the neutral point. So that's how acidic it is. And I'm just going to show you real quick. This came from Wellness Magazine. And if you, it says, what does it show the equivalent of soda is? Battery acid. It shows soda equals battery. Your battery in your car, the acid level of the battery in your car equivalent to soda. So imagine, if we want to stay on the alkaline side, you definitely don't want to drink anything like this, right? So as you can see now, that's the second property of the water that makes Kangen water so very special and why you want to be hydrating your body on a regular basis.
So now I get to show you the third property of the water, which is microclustering of the molecules. And so regular water, like tap water, is about 15 to 20 molecule clusters, whereas Kangen water is about four to six clusters, so much smaller. And you're going to get to see a visual when I show you that with these green tea bags. So this is Yamamoto green tea. It's a, a tea that I like. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, put one of these in here in the first cup. And what do you have to normally do to make tea? You have to heat the water. So we're going to take room temperature tap water. And notice what's happening. Nothing. It's not making tea, is it? That's because you have to boil the water to make tea. So we're going to take another tea bag, and we're going to take the kangen water. Notice what happens. What's happening to that tea bag? It's making tea instantly. Watch what happens when I go to pour again. Instant tea, right? The smaller molecules are penetrating the tea bag and drawing the tea out of the tea bag. Okay, let's go to, let's take one, how about if we go back to tap water? No tea, right? So it's not a magic show, so you understand. It's just the molecules are too big to draw the tea out of there. We'll go back to Kangen water. Notice how it's drawing tea out of the tea bag. And notice this tea bag's still struggling over here, right? <laughs> so let's take it back over here and let's see if we can get tea out of it. Notice, instant tea with the Kangen water. So I think you can understand with the microclustering of the molecules being four to six clusters, much smaller, how it's drawing the tea out of the tea bag. Now imagine when you're drinking this water on a regular basis, it's hydrating the body better. This water will actually reach the brain in 60 seconds, every part of the skin in 10 minutes. It will penetrate the cells much easier, carry nutrients into the cells, and carry waste products out of the cells. So I think you can see that drinking Kangen water with the negative ORP, right, the uh, alkalinity, and the microclustering of the molecules, this should be the water of choice for everybody to drink because it's far superior water and beneficial for the body. Now we're going to show you uh, some other properties of the water that we can use for different purposes in your home. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some uh, tomatoes here that I just got at the grocery store. So these are some uh, nature sweet tomatoes. And uh, how do you normally clean your fruits and vegetables at home? You rinse them in the tap water, right? So we're going to take these nature sweet tomatoes and I'll try to pluck these out really quick. And you rinse them in the tap water, right? So we're just going to simulate that by pouring some tap water in here. You ladies didn't know you were going to do a little taste test today, did you? <laughs> and we're going to take another bag of the Nature Sweet Tomatoes. And we're going to soak them in what's called strong kangen water. And strong kangen water is at a pH of about 11, 11.5. And the reason I put it in a black container is because three things affect the properties of the water. That is air, light, and movement. So we always store them in black containers when we make the water and we're going to use them. So we'll just soak some of the tomatoes with the 11.5 strong kangen water. And while those are soaking, we'll let those sit there for just a minute. And we're going to take some, this is pure sesame oil. I'm going to take some sesame oil, and I'm going to show you while those are soaking what this water can do to the sesame oil. Now, what happens, basic science, what happens when you mix water and oil? They don't mix, they separate. It doesn't mix, right? So notice how it's starting to separate. So watch when I take the same oil and put the uh, strong kangen water in there. Oh, wow. What just happened? It emulsified. It emulsified or it mixed the oil. So we're going to show you today with this water how you can use it for different purposes at home to clean your produce. You can also use it, put it in a black spray bottle like I do, and clean the house with it. So we're all concerned about the chemicals in our home, right? So we can now get rid of all those chemicals and make water that you can use as a degreaser, a cleaner, your 409. You can replace all of those. So let's go back to the tomatoes. How about that? So remember, these were soaking in the in the tap water and simulating how you clean them at home. And I'm just going to scoop them out of here and try not to make a mess. Okay. 
That's the tap water. We'll set them right there. And then we're going to do a little taste test. Are you ladies up for a taste test today? Okay, let's get the, I call these Kangen tomatoes. Now, notice the difference. So, what can, you thought you cleaned your tomatoes in the tap water, right? right. But did you really? No. no. Notice, what just came off the tomatoes? Everything. <laughs> Herbicides, pesticides, oxidation, anything that's on the produce, you know, because they use oil-based pesticides that don't wash off in the rain. So guess what? Regular water doesn't have the ability to take those off, but Kangen water has the ability to take them off, just like it broke down the oil over here. So let's go ahead and do, let's pass these around. We're going to go ahead and have each one of you grab one of the Kangen tomatoes, I call them, and let's do a little taste test. Those are kind of big, so you might not want to bite them in half. I would just bite the whole thing, or you might get tomato on you. And so we're going to let them try the Kangen tomatoes really quick. Hey, guys, I'm Italian and I didn't used to like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sad, right? But guess what? I found out it wasn't the tomatoes I didn't like. It was what was on the tomatoes that I didn't like. So how's the tomatoes? Very sweet. Good. Are they pretty sweet? Mm -hmm. Not too bad? No. Okay, great. So now we're going to go ahead and pass these around. And this is the tomatoes that you normally, how you normally clean them and how you normally eat them. And let's see if we notice a difference or who can notice a difference in the taste. Oh, you got to get a picture of these faces. <laughs> look at the face. Look at the difference in the taste. So that now you understand why I didn't like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it wasn't the tomatoes I didn't like. It was what was on the tomatoes that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Everyone notice the difference? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. The first one was much better. Mm -hmm. The first one tasted more like you got it out of the garden, right? And it was yeah. natural yes. and no pesticides, and it was sweet. Even the texture is a little different. And the second one, you guys, because guess what? You were eating the tomatoes with this on there. And that will definitely affect the taste. And guess what? When you clean your produce with this Kangen water,